Tokyo, baby. Name is Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Check out Asi Darling. Thank you guys so much for clicking once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know, gang, gang. Now we have a problem. <laughs> you see the intro? I had to play the entire shout out to Paul Cleverly for the song. That's the song of the moment. Carry me, they go, my husband's house. Because it seems like the race to marriage is getting crazier by the day guys like this particular story trended i think yesterday I, I feel like a week ago but insta blog actually reposted it yesterday and basically it's about a proposal that happened at a funeral now i know it sounds weird like the lady um lost her dad so when they were burying the father the boyfriend or the guy thought that wise while this man was still going down to mother nature he thought he wise to get on one knee and guys first of all let me know your thoughts in the comment section because i don't even know how to feel and i'm going to be playing the video so that you will see for yourself okay so i think this happened um should be in south africa or east africa region guys let me know your thoughts um i don't know what particular area but from the language i'm guessing south africa sa that region sha or east africa so watch the video <laughs> about this thing see you know first of all i feel like the bride had mixed feeling like she's crying she lost her dad she's crying and then she's happy because maybe this is a relationship she has been waiting for and um for the thing to materialize into marriage and she has to accept it so yes good news but bad news kind of thing and i don't know i don't know personally see and don't do it no don't do it like even if i'm the father that is that is like mad disrespectful right guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section allow the father to shall rest in peace it's like i feel a week a day after you know even not a day after allow the morning process to end there's a reason why it's called the morning process this is someone you've been dating since and fun this is giving me the case of maybe the dad was saying over my dead body and this guy could not just wait like okay shout over your dead body now that you have died let me propose but still <laughs> i know it's not a funny thing because i'm trying to find where and how this is even nice and you see people clapping like is it that you put in like the father was the father like that horrible that you think is fun i don't know there's some areas where they'll fling the guy outside like bro how it, it's not acceptable but let me know your thoughts in the comment section just so that we are not like debbie downers or people that want to like rain on her parade because it's her happy day her moment but guys you understand where i'm coming from and also i don't want it to seem like i'm always bringing the spiritual leg but there are things like this that happen proposing at a funeral can have like spiritual connotations do you understand we shouldn't joke with that that is not a party hall that is not a restaurant you can't you can't just do you can't play around it there's an energy with death death is death that's why some people can smell death there's an energy with the atmosphere bringing forth a new life or a new path you know how serious marriage is like that's why the devil fights marriage you understand because that's like a new covenant a new bloodline is about to be born bringing forth that kind of thing in the presence of death is like mixing two different energies and for me personally it's not going it's not sitting well like guys let me know your thoughts if you understand where i'm coming from because i've done several videos about these strange things that happen before during and after weddings i've done about proposal like in my i'm going to even be putting some thumbnails because i've done several videos when people come and they touch you how to avoid all those touch how to and this is your marriage before then you're now bringing some kind of spirit imagine if the guy god forbid like we don't know yet but what if the guy was not even like a clean-handed person when he was dying you're inviting strange spirits so oh, i don't understand do you do child education in the cemetery it's crazy let me know what you guys think because i feel like some people just need to understand that this is not this is not the way let it not be a norm you know recently instablog even posted 
kind of like a um, a video of some people in Ghana doing a party in a cemetery. I don't understand. I don't get. I don't get it. <laughs> it's not right like if somebody decides to hold a party in the cemetery why are you attending why are you attending oh i see it's a memorial for somebody that died we do memorials we don't go to the cemetery if you need to go there you're going to drop flowers and leave you're not going to like is he only the only person that died there i'm seeing other tombstones he can be lying beside somebody that was in one occult. You can be lying beside. That's why even people that work in, in mortuaries will tell you that there are different strains. There are some people that even from birth to de their life and death, they were just wicked. And they have that aura. They have that strange spirit. You now go to a cemetery to throw party. What is wrong with this our generation? So many things are happening. There are things we shouldn't joke with. I know that everybody wants to get married. I know that this is so, but no, don't do that there. When she's back home, when she's done crying, because anything like in that position, self, well, is her is her mind clear enough to give you a right answer? What if he's looking forced? And that's why I don't really like public proposal because it looks forced. It looks like, especially if the person has not like been clear with you from onset, you just go to market square, or you go to a supermarket to propose. Less of where there are, there are dead people around. Let me know your thoughts because I find it that yes, on the surface we might say, oh maybe there's nothing there, but I don't trust that guy. Let it not be like this. There has to be somebody in the family that will go, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. for him to have waited till this point. Um, that's when, okay, let's say the, even if the father was, was strict at his burial, is it like, was it a bet? Did he bet with somebody that since this guy doesn't want me to marry his daughter, the day he will die, I'll propose to her. Like, oh, mm -mm. somebody in the family has to, and they were clapping. I beg you. Anyway, sure. But guys, let me know your thoughts. You know that recently, um, for those of you that like going party hopping, please be careful. People are throwing parties, grand parties that they use human parts to cook. A story broke in Ghana that somebody does that um, in her restaurants. Her daughter broke the news. Story has broken in Nigeria that they actually hired the caterer, took her to the house. Oh, come and cook, come and cook. So those of you that are vendors, also be very careful. Be very conscious of where you're going to. You can't go alone. I've done several videos about it. Please, when you're going for home service, be very careful. They have kidnapped a lot of people. They have tortured a lot of people. They called this particular caterer, and she was there like in the den of kidnappers cooking. They will bring human parts. She will cook. They will take it to go and do um, different um, festivals or whatever. Have people come around and eat, and you they might go home, and different things start happening to them. Please. Let us not even try to play with things that are or double into things that we do not believe. Yes, some of you can be like, oh, I see all those things don't work. Fine, but I feel like better safe than sorry. There's no point trying to defend anything. Let's just be safe. It's better you're safe first. Or you want to go and test and use your head to know because we'll use you and do story. When it breaks out that you have gone and made that mistake, we'll use it and do video. It's better to be safe. It costs you nothing. You're planning your wedding. It costs you nothing to be safe. It costs you nothing to be very alert. It costs you nothing. There are people that are going to come around you. There are people that, that even when there is burial, like this kind of thing, um, especially there was a, a particular burial for one of my clients. Um, basically, it was supposed to be her wedding, but she lost her dad. And it was such a strange movement in me. I said, no, this is not clear. And we had to be on alert because another thing you have to watch out for, for those of you that... Um, God, I mean, my condolences, maybe you lost a loved one and you, you are planning burial. Please, when you do burials, watch the grave. Watch, I repeat, watch the grave. When they lower the, the body, watch. Nobody is allowed to come near there, to throw anything inside that grave. We have seen things. And when I come out and I tell you, I'm telling you as a matter of fact, nobody should touch, nobody should go there, pour sand, pour anything. Eyes should be on that grave till they have covered it, have bouncers, have police to guard that thing. Especially those of you that has to do with fathers, mothers, and you know that this death was not clean. Make sure that till the end, even when they are doing um, what they call 
passage where they say okay they want to inspect the cops they want to view the cops it's not everybody that should go this particular funeral mm. are held only f- his family members direct and his brothers no other person was allowed we're very strict my eyes and i'm not like from the village I was shouting you can't go in because you don't even know if it's the person that killed him that wants to come and check something you can't even you can't even lose guard and i'm telling you people seriously because when i saw this thing i'm like no 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 it's not a celebration of life kind of death, Seth. It's a death that you can see that they are phys- physically shaking. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I just feel like somebody needed it because I've ignored this story like three times it came to my DMs. And I feel like I have to say this. Please be careful with the way you mix death and the way you mix the, your new life. So that's that line between bringing, up, bringing forth a new marriage and death is not something you cross for fun. It's not something you just cross normally. And those of you having funerals, be very much on alert. Don't say, oh, as he always wants about weddings and how to watch out for evil people during wedding. Evil people come for funerals. They come for funerals. You shouldn't do open casket for everybody. That's why there's usually that flex, that, that glass thing, um, plastic thing that they used to cover too. And you, we always have bouncers inside there. And the, the, it's not about crying move move that's all they shout you move if you go there if it must be open if other people must see make sure that nobody gets close to it it's very important there are people that wear rings and touch the casket there are people that there are different things you do not want to you do not want to not know what's up like for me i feel somebody needs this message and that's why i went ahead to um do this video i hope he helped one person but congratulations to everybody that is about to get married calm down start watching our past videos get your acts together when it comes to your budget when it comes to things you need to watch out for vendors to watch out for i'm going to be doing other videos thank you all so much for watching remind me your girl Asi Dali. let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as usual please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys